Good morning. Happy, happy Tuesday. I hope you're doing well. All right, welcome to another session of Nail School. All right, so again, focusing on fundamentals, we are going to be going through preparation, application, and finishing today. Uh, one of the, the goals for today's class is to give you a really good understanding on uh, basically balance, right? So one of the things I talk about all the time is when you are working as a beginner nail technician, one of the most fundamental aspects that you have to master is being able to hold the hand again and balance at the same time. So whether you are working with a brush, you can see I'm actually holding it in the crease in my hand. This is gonna give you the ability, right, to move, right, to move around the perimeter of the nail or through the nail without physically shaking. A lot of beginners, what they do is, to give you an example, if you're working with a powder and let's say you don't have good balance. Let's say you, you tap your brush and you physically don't hold on to anything. What ends up happening is you end up kind of bouncing into the powder and end up basically getting a very inconsistent bead as you can see. We don't want that. We want to be able to, and again, you can see a balancing by like anchoring my finger here so that I could tap on the side. I'm balancing on the side of the jar so that when I pull down and bounce into the powder, I'm able to achieve basically a really nice consistency on one side of my brush that will release. And even when I'm releasing it to a surface, I'm balancing my finger here so that I don't shake. Okay. So one of the things we're going to be really focusing on, it doesn't matter, again, whether you're working with your brush or you're working with your handpiece, you'll notice if I was prepping, if I was going to prep right the surface of the natural nail, one of the things I'm always you know, reminding my students is that you have to be able to position your finger on the side and you can see that I'm holding the handpiece in the crease of my hand. This is going to allow me to balance, right? So that when I'm going around the perimeter of the nail, I'm able to do it without tremendous amount of force. I'm able to what I call feather. So if I'm feathering away shine, feather, 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 I can do this in a very controlled fashion. I feel that a lot of instructors out there who are teaching nails, you know, again, there's a lot of really talented artists out there, but instructors out there that are working and trying to teach beginners how to work, if, if, you know, if I'm going to rush to try to teach you how to do a design, then it's going to be very difficult for me, right, or you, right, to get to the next level. Um, myself as an instructor trying to show you guys, I really want to focus on just fundamental work. That way, when you're learning to build nails, this is going to set you guys up for tremendous amount of success. Again, being a black belt, you know, for the basics is going to structure a foundation that's going to be very difficult to disrupt. Okay, so once we remove shine from the surface of the nail, notice also when I'm actually getting protein bond. I'm balancing my fingers. Again, balancing my fingers so that when I apply a product, I'm able to do it in a controlled fashion, right, so that my hands don't shake when I work. This is, again, something all of you who are going through school right now or even nail enthusiasts have to really focus on. And I know in the beginning when, it's, when you're working, it's, it's quite difficult because your hands and your, your you know, your, 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 your hand muscles, right, your finger muscles, you're not used to the tension. A lot of people, what they end up doing is holding the hand with like this really tight G.I. Joe Kung Fu grip and it ends up like putting a lot of pressure right here in the hand, you just have to relax. If you relax and you just let your fingers kind of basically stand out, this is going to be the perfect platform 
for you to rest your fingers while you work. I'm not going to be working like this. I'm always going to be working with the finger pointed down, right? So you're going to notice if we were really focusing on good fundamentals with acrylics, the first thing I'm going to show my students is how to pick up the product. So submerse my brush again. This is going to give me the ability to pull down and bounce inside the powder. You can see I'm resting my finger. I'm going to turn the brush upside down, right? I'm going to count to about four, and then you're going to notice that when I release, I have my fingers balanced. This is going to allow me to walk around the perimeter of the nail as the product moves down towards the tip. Now, once it gets down towards the front end, you're going to notice all I have to do is just lightly kind of feather this into perfection. Everything is self-leveling, not just this way. Everything is going to self-level this way. You can see from the side profile that I have a beautiful overlay. I'm allowing the product to do the work for me. So if there is a slight ledge because of the consistency, if I'm pulling the sides, you're going to see that I'm able to pull it tight to the side walls, right? Trying to form that natural overlay with the least amount of physical, basically, error. Like a lot of beginners make the mistake of getting way too much liquid, and then what they do is they just set the brush in the powder, and then they end up getting something that's half dry, and then they keep the finger too flat, and then they end up pushing it to the back end like this and creating a mushroom cloud that ends up basically kind of bushling out to the outside with no chance, look at that, no chance of getting the product to move from this point to this point without creating a mess, right? So all my students that are learning acrylic, everybody who's taking classes at Young Nails, they have to know, you can see if I'm working at this from the side profile, I'm keeping the finger pointed down towards the towel. This is going to give you the ability, again, submerse your liquid, again, balance, right? Balance, tap, and then again, balance my hand right here on the side. And then what I'm going to be able to do, just lightly resting my finger, I'm going to be able to pull down, bounce, 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 bounce. I'm going to count one, two, three, four. Take a look at how flat my brush is. Fingers pointed down. This is going to give me the ability to walk around the perimeter of the nail. And notice I just touch it one time. Now everything starts to move down. I can hold the sides to prevent it from running down the sidewalls. This is also going to give me the ability, if I want to, to pull from the corner, pull from the corner, and the front of the bead. The front of the bead. Right? So this is going to seal that end. You can see how the acrylic starts to move down towards the sides. If I'm using the side of my brush to walk back over the top, now I have the workability and I have the consistency where even if I'm pulling, if I take my brush and I clean it and I pull this with maybe a, um, a much firmer, basically, uh, motion, like it's not going to pull it off of the finger. So you'll notice that if you're just beginning, right, and you're struggling with application, one of the biggest problems that a lot of beginners do is, let's say you're successful picking up the product. All right, you don't wait. What you do is you probably set it down and then you end up pulling it off, look at this. Like, so if I end up pulling, like if I, if I set it down and I just drag it, it doesn't matter what you do, right? Let's say you set your brush down and you don't bounce in the powder and it's too dry. Let's say you set it like this and then you're, you're, you're trying to like push it to the side, but because you had so much product, everything is going to end up running down towards the side walls like this and creating those really nasty kind of like insect wings on the side of the nail. Um, a lot of beginners get frustrated with the actual motion or the, the, the attributes of the acrylic, especially when they're like, oh, you know, I need something faster. Faster is not going to do you any justice. You don't have to work with a super fast setting product. If I was working with, and I can just show you guys, but 
Like if I was working with a core product, core pink, this is again a standard setting, very light pink, very natural setting, uh, setting product. So uh, if I was to submerse my brush and load it up, right, and let's say I was able to bounce inside the powder and successfully pick something up, if I just waited one, two, three, four, and then slowly release at five and clean my brush, notice that I have the workability to touch around the perimeter of the nail. Take a look at this. I just want to show you guys the perimeter of the nail. So if I'm walking around and just touching around the perimeter of the nail, notice the slope. Like even if I don't even get it close here, here's the beautiful part. If I took the tip of my brush and just lightly brush the sides, bro, look at that. You're going to get that so sick. It's going to be so perfectly tight to the sidewalls. Right? And, and let's say it did run. Here's the beautiful part. You can pick it back up where like once you pick it back up and then you take, again, a flat end of your brush. And if I was to brush that tight, you're going to get tight sidewalls, right? The whole purpose is to get the product, right? Like, so if you were looking at this, if, the, if, if this was the surface this was the surface of the natural nail, right? Forget the actual extension, right? Forget actually building out a tip. We're talking this part right here. You have to be able to get the back end like this, okay? Not just, right? So if, if I was gonna look at, get another pen, Right. So if, if I was going to, if I, if I was looking at the back end of the cuticle area, right, the back end of the cuticle area, I don't want it just to look like that here. I want it to be able to look like that surrounding the whole entire perimeter of the nail. But you have to be able to set it down to the cuticle area and have it move in the least amount of effort. This is what's going to give you the ability to brush through the product, right? So again, if, if, we're going down here, right? And as the product is starting to move down towards, let's say, the apex, right? The thickest part, which is about right here. The hardest part I feel for a lot of beginners is how do you get it, like this back end, you can touch it tight, but how do you get it absolutely flush to the sidewalls here without getting it onto the skin, okay? So remember, if you have the right consistency, then it's a matter of being able to brush through the sides, and I'll show you guys, All right? This is great, always great practice to, to be able to work on the nail trainer. This will set you guys up for success as you're moving through and working on real life nails. Okay, so I'll go ahead and use, again, I love Speed Bubblegum. Um, it's just super bright, super intense. Super badass. Okay, let's just kind of flatten that out. I'm going to submerse my brush. Again, I'm going to load it, right? I'm going to be using the Greg Signature Series brush. So if I submerse my brush and I actually, again, load this up with liquid, if I pull down, bounce, 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 and this is speed, so I'm going to count one, two, three, and around four, I'm going to release. I'm going to be able, look at this, I could touch around the sides. Now, as it starts bushling out, what you're going to notice is if I actually, okay, you're going to notice, right, as I'm holding the sides, even if this has a tendency to run towards the tip, not a big deal, what I'm going to be able to do is use the tip of the brush. I just want to show you guys, if I, as I'm brushing through, right, it will level out to the side. So this whole area in the front that's not encased, not a big deal. What we want to be able to do is use the body of the brush. I want to be able to walk it from side to side. And again, balance. See this? Balance. Keep control, right? I can clean my brush. Now, once you actually have it overlaid to perfection, then what I can do is start using the tip of my brush. And don't worry about getting it past the tip. There's a lot of things you can end up doing, right? Even if you brush it past the extension that you've created, you could either use the side of the brush and pat it flat, or you can end up filing it into absolute perfection once you're done. So let's go ahead and repeat that step one more time. For all of you guys out there that are working on cuticle area, it's very important for you to understand you have to have the right consistency. Okay, so for those of you guys that are beginning, 
I recommend either using the cover powder or go ahead and stick with, with the core. Um, this is a matter of submersing your brush. Again, loading this up with the right amount of liquid, being able to bounce inside the powder, get yourself a nice fluffy bead. Count one, two, three, four, Slowly release, use the tip of the brush to walk around the perimeter of the nail as the bead starts moving down. You can just touch the side. Every time you touch it, everything is going to move. Now, at this point, wipe your brush from the side, right here from the corner, pull the side, pull the front, hold it back up, pull the front. And again, once you seal it, then it's really a matter of balancing your hand and you, getting a feel for it because at this point everything is starting to cure like kind of like a clay right so once i get it over the top right i'm gonna again go back in my brush i'm gonna clean it clean it and then what you can do is use the tip of the brush just to lightly feather it through and like again if it pulls off that edge you can either clean it right but the most important thing is noticing that you're going to have a tight cuticle area around the whole entire perimeter. This is going to help you guys control the product as you're applying it from the cuticle down through the free edge. All right, so wanted to jump on here and just kind of cover those aspects so that you have a really good understanding on what you need to do to control the acrylic around the perimeter of the nail. Uh, this is your first step. Balance is huge. Understanding how to pick up the product, counting, setting it down, understanding the position of the fingers is pointing down towards the towel, using the tip of the brush to kind of guide it around the cuticle area so that you don't physically have to force it. These small fundamental steps are going to set you guys up so that your cuticle work is absolutely flawless. Hope you enjoyed today's nail school. Um, you could also get more information, www.youngnails.com, and there is thousands of videos on YouTube. So thank you guys for tuning in and I look forward to seeing you guys tomorrow. Have a wonderful day. Peace. Subscribe channel now. Subscribe channel now. Sub and subscribe to the channel now. Subscribe to the channel.